what's going guys and today will be our first video on the tips and tricks series so um today we're gonna learn how to tune our 808 which should be a step that everyone in here should know but you know you gotta help out like the early producers and you know just something useful that you need to know or maybe you're not tuning properly so today i'm going to show you three methods one involve two of them are actually involving FL native plugins, and one of them will involve a VST. So let's get started. So let's go into our plugin browser, and we're just I'm just gonna load up my drums, and let's find a couple drums. Um, so let's go into here. I have a few that I have in mind. So this one, let's load it up there. Then let's see, can I find one in the key march? Yeah, I think I think this one will work. And then obviously I kinda planned on using this bit of 808. Okay. So you, once you got your 808 selected, you're gonna want to route them to a mixer channel. So you're just gonna wanna put them in mixer in separate ones. And once you've done that, you can start the tuning. So, the first method will be using a native FL plugin, and this is the fastest and easiest method by far. So, you're gonna load up the channel, and you're gonna wanna right click on the waveform and hit edit. And this will open up Edison, and all you need to do is hit this little key right here or marker and it detect pitch regions and as you can see this 808 is in the key of D sharp now some people might see this and be like oh it's in the key of D e. well when you have two separate um, keys right here when it shows up two different keys you're just gonna want to go to the last one so D-2 or D sharp I don't know why I always do that. I just have it too. So you just want to go into here and press reset. And you're going to want to find D sharp. Now, if you don't know where any of the keys are, you can just hit this. And sharp are the black notes. And just normal notes are the white notes. So once again, just hold reset and put it to D sharp. Now, some people might see D sharp 2 and go all the way down and tune it to D sharp 2. You don't have to do that, just make sure it's on D sharp. So, that works out. So, then after that, you're going to go on your master track and remove Edison because your 808 is tuned and ready to be used. The second way, it also involves a FL plugin, but it's in my opinion, this is the method I use because it's the simplest and the best. So let's get into the plugin browser on the mixer track. And you're going to find New Tone. Let's make this a little bigger for you guys. And you're going to want to load up your 808 in New Tone. And then you're going to want to drag all this. Close that. And as you can see, this 808 is really off tune by default. So, you're gonna, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is pull these down to the very last one. Perfectly straight. You're gonna wanna center it, turn the vibration down, and turn the transient down. The transition down. I always call this the transient for some reason. It just feels like that's the word that belongs there. Now, you know it's in tune when this is a perfectly straight line and everything is pretty much lined up. So, next thing I want to do is reopen this, get on the drag selection, and drag it in. As you can see, your 808 waveform might change. You're going to have these markers, which is good. It means you successfully tuned your 808. So once you've done that, you can just remove the channel. Okay. 
and also um on all of these I forgot to show you but if you go on to Newtone again let me drag this if you go into Newtone again it it tells you what key it's on so for example this is C so you know C B so you know it's on A sharp so this 808 is tuned to A sharp so you know this 808 is tuned to A sharp so you're just gonna go into here and tune it to A sharp you know it's something I always do it but I forget to show it because I've, ha I've had to re-record this video a few times because I always forgot to show that when I went over it. Now the last method is a bit more advanced, but this is definitely the best way. And this is using a VST. So I'll leave the link in the description for the VST. They have a demo version and you can buy it. I just use the demo because, I mean, quits after 30 minutes, but uh, you'll see in the video that you don't even use it for a while. So you're just going to open up Guitar Rig, hit this key right here, which opens up the tuner, go into your 808, and next thing you're going to do is just play C5 on your 808. And you're just going to want to play it till it registers. And as you can see, the cents, it's 12 cents above zero, which zero means perfectly tuned. So you're going to want, at the very end of the 808, it goes to zero. So what you want to do is drag the pitch down a little bit. Ooh, 10's almost there. 11. 11's also almost there. 12. There you go. So 12 puts it at zero. So this means your 808 is perfectly in tune. So you just want to exit out the guitar rig. Now, unlike with the other methods, when you tune it using Guitar Rig, you don't have to change the root note. Also, you don't have to change it on this one, because it also, um, you know, spins 808 is tuned to C, so you wouldn't have to change it anyways. But using this method, you don't really have to change the root note. I mean, you can, but that means you would have to retune it all over again, so you don't want to do that. So anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Hope it helps y'all out. And remember to always tune your 808s because it helps it keep in, stay in key with the chords, the melody, and all the instruments. And it makes it sound like it, it makes it sound like it fits in. So anyways, this is DJ Dazed and see ya.